First, I have some declarations to do. I am a founder of three uh, medical companies or, or drug development companies and uh, the, some of the studies which um, I'm going to present today are made by these uh, um, companies, especially Humacrine Cognition AB, uh, which has also sponsored some of the studies, uh, uh, especially the clinical studies. Anyhow, the um, research which I'm going to present is a review over uh, some results that we have obtained during the last 20 uh, years. Uh, so it is actually some of the data are fairly old, but some of the data are very new. Um, the background to this um, uh, interest in our uh, was actually a study made in the United States uh, but, and supported by Bill Clinton, namely the so-called Women's Health Initiative Memory Study. And that was a, a study based on epidemiological data showing that Eastrian could uh, uh, improve uh, uh, or, or delay the Alzheimer's disease and dementia in, in a female population, in a women's population. Um, however, uh, the estrogen only therapy, if uh, the uterus is still in the body, uh, will give a cancer. So therefore, a progestogen, a medroxyprogestor acetate, was added to, to uh, prohibit the uh, development of cancer, endometrial cancer. So the uh, treatment was actually a combined treatment with the estrogen um, plus um, uh, MPA, medroxyprogestor acetate. It was a very large study. It was 4,000 patients. 2,500 received the uh, Eastrian plus MPA, and 2,456 received a placebo. So it was a placebo controlled uh, study. The results of the, of the study was very surprising. It actually turned out that the number of patients receiving dementia or be, becoming demented was actually doubled in the Eastrian plus medroxyprogesterone acetate um, uh, group compared to the placebo group. And this, of course, has had tremendous uh, impact for the, especially the post-menopausal uh, hormone replacement therapy in women. It more or less stopped the, the treatment. Uh, I would like to go back. Uh, and, but the uh, results uh, showed that it was additional 23 cases of dementia per 10,000 women per year in this, um, and it was mainly of Alzheimer's disease. Uh, several studies have been made later on and it shows that it's not the estrogen itself that is causing the uh, increased risk of dementia, but it is in fact the medroxyprogestor acetate. And we were thus interested in, in investigating what actually does the medroxyprogestor acetate do to, uh, to um, um, increase the, uh, the dementia risk in this uh, patient category. So one of the things we did was to investigate if medroxyprogesterone acetate is a positive GABA-A receptor modulating steroid. And we know that uh, GABA-A receptor modulating steroids can actually induce memory loss and memory disturbances in uh, high doses. So we will, I will show so, uh, some of the data later on. Um, uh, and it turned out when we investigated this uh, uh, steroid, the medoxyprogesterone acetate, uh, in relation to the um, uh, recombinant um, GABA, human GABA-A receptor, the alpha-5 uh, type of the receptor, it was actually a strong um, positive 
GABA A receptor modulating steroid. So it actually has a direct effect on especially the, the um, uh, one type of the receptors, namely the alpha-5 receptor. However, it didn't uh, act on the alpha-1 receptor, which is the most common receptor, but had effects also on alpha-2 receptors, which is a receptor related to mood changes. And we know also that hydroxybogesterone acetate can induce negative mood changes uh, in certain individuals. Um, we also know that mesoxybogesterone acetate can induce anesthesia uh, and sedation in, for instance, rat uh, experiments done, uh, um, uh, done in, with injection of mesoxybogesterone acetate. Um, so we decided to try whether actually a... a um, GABA receptor modulating steroid uh, could induce or, or worsen the Alzheimer uh, uh, development in a Alzheimer model, the uh, um, transgenic mice, Alzheimer mice, APP, Swedish PS1 uh, mice. And, and we used a, a um, the most common commonly used uh, uh, um, neurosteroid and, and uh, GABA A receptor, positive GABA A receptor modulating steroid, namely allopregnanolone. And it turns out that allopregnanolone uh, actually increases the dementia and uh, shortens the time until uh, the uh, Alzheimer um, uh, mice develops uh, um, dementia. So we can see here at the um, uh, um, all non treated uh, the, uh, um, mice, they had only 6% of them were still being uh, uh, actively um, while uh, in a, a wild type uh, they, they still were about five, um, 55, 56% that were, were affected or 44% were. So it was clearly significantly different effect by allopregnanolone in the Alzheimer's type while in the, compared to the wild type. Also the vehicle treatment gave a much better situation compared to the um, Alzheimer uh, um, compared to the Alzheimer mice and um, uh, gave a, a much better situation uh, compared to that. So this indicates that that um, allopregnanolone and uh, positive GABA receptor modulating steroids can in fact induce uh, a um, uh, dementia progress and can induce dementia in, in uh, certain situations and in certain individuals. And uh, this has also been uh, uh, similar results has also been con confirmed now in a other study uh, done by uh, Jen and Brighton uh, in uh, uh, in a other type, uh, uh, other Alzheimer's mice, the three times uh, TG mice uh, um, with allopregnanolone injections given several times per week. What is also interesting is that we have found uh, steroids which can antagonize these uh, GABA modulating, uh, positive GABA uh, A modulating steroids, uh, steroids, and uh, we call them uh, GAMSA. And these these GAMSA uh, actually um, in um, totally blocks the effect of the uh, positive GABA receptor modulating steroids. And this uh, slide shows uh, some um, 
uh, experiments we have done with uh, so-called patch clamp technique on on cells which have the uh, human GABA receptor and where we give GABA plus uh, 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 allopregnolone. And you can see here that uh, in the situation where we give allopregnolone, we get a much prolonged opening of the GABA-A receptor compared to GABA itself uh, only, and that is the control. However, when we give, give this uh, uh, GAMSA, the, the, uh, the uh, um, antagonist to the allopregnolone, we can inhibit the effect of the GAMS and thus uh, normalize the response in the GABA-A receptor to only respond to the GABA and not to uh, uh, the enhancing effect of allopregnolone or GAMSA. However, the uh, GAMSA itself does not do anything uh, uh, on the um, uh, effect of GABA. So the GABA effect itself is intact. And that is good because uh, if GABA, GAMSA would be an, a strong antagonist, then of course we could, uh, we, it could actually induce um, uh, uh, seizures, and that is, of course, something a, bit, uh, a side effect we don't want. We have also tried this um, uh, um, allopregnolone, here uh, shorten it as AP, in a rat model, uh, in a learning model, the Morris water maze. And we can show that if we give injections with allopregnolone, uh, the, the uh, positive uh, GABA receptor um, steroid, we actually um, can inhibit the learning more or less completely in these animals. However, if we give it together with the a, a uh, GAMSA called GR3027, then we can in fact inhibit this effect and it, it comes down to be insignificant from the uh, vehicle treatment. Vehicle treatment was here uh, uh, also very, uh, not very uh, effective in, in causing uh, uh, deterioration of learning. So it seems as this GAMSA could be a, used as a treatment for, for uh, um, uh, 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 against the induction of the, the memory that uh, a uh, GABA receptor active steroid is actually inducing. Now, there are several uh, states where in the body where the uh, allopregnolone physiologically is high. Or one of the diseases that this occurs is in hepatic encephalopathy. And uh, in hepatic encephalopathy, it's well known that they have quite uh, uh, a lot of problems with memory and learning. Uh, and uh, in the end, of course, hepatic encephalopathy also cause an anesthetic state or coma, which is uh, sometimes also um, uh, dele uh, um, is also causing death of the patient. And these patients have been investigated by the Abusha and, and uh, colleagues, and they show that they have clearly in, uh, uh, increased levels of this allopregnolone, both in, uh, in uh, uh, CNS in, in the brain and in serum. So this is a group where we could uh, 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 
try in a clinical setting, try this um, uh, effect of the uh, GR3027. So we did toxicology on the GR3027 and it turned out to be a very safe drug. It had very few side effects. Uh, it had some side effects if you give it as an injection. There can be some, some, uh, 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 some uh, bruising around the injection point, but, but we have also developed a tablet and this tablet uh, is not causing any uh, side effects which are notable, at least in the uh, studies which we have done so far. Um, we have tried this uh, uh, GR3027 in a model, in a, hum in a human model uh, of, of uh, act activation of the GABA receptor, namely uh, looking at the maximum saccadic eye velocity. This uh, saccadic eye velocity is a, a um, um, uh, physiological uh, situation which, uh, which is heavily controlled by the GABA receptor. And we have also looked at the self-rated sedation as a, a sign of, of uh, anesthesia or sedation in, in these patients using a visual analog scale uh, with um, 10 as the maximum uh, being falling asleep and zero being full awake. Anyhow, we now notice that allopregnolone uh, induces a decline in, uh, in the saccadic eye velocity and a increase in the uh, 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 sedation scores uh, by these patients. And this uh, can dose dependently be reduced with GR3027 taken orally in this, no, this was injections, sorry, um, um, uh, uh, in, in these uh, patients uh, either given three milligram or GR3027 or a 30 milligram or 3027. And both these doses induced a, a decrease in the sedation and the maximum uh, dose uh, in, uh, induced also a significant reduction of the saccadic eye velocity, which is a very sensitive measure. So uh, by that, we were ready to do a clinical trial with this, uh, the steroids. It was a phase two, a study with also a, a analysis of, of the effect. It was a, a study uh, in uh, 76 patients. Uh, however, some of them were excluded, excluded due to the fact that they did not meet the inclusion criteria and the decline the participation on one had another reason for not participating, wanted to become pre pregnant, so I think it was. Anyhow, uh, 45 patients were randomized and um, 33 were allocated to Oconlaxalone, the 3027, and 12 received placebo in a double blind crossover no, so a double blind uh, parallel study. Uh, in the follow up, uh, there was uh, three who dis the, in the uh, uh, colexalon uh, group that discontinued the intervention, uh, while there was none in the placebo group. So in the safety analysis, uh, all the individuals were assessed and there was no uh, problems uh, in the safety analysis, neither in the um, placebo group or in the active group. 
However, in the um, uh, in the um, uh, uh, group, uh, five were um, excluded from the uh, 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 analysis due to the withdrawal uh, of these three individuals and two of them had a major protocol deviation, which was uh, unfortunately, of course, but it was so uh, major so they could not be analyzed. The analysis I made at screening at baseline after 10 days of treatment and 21 days of treatment. And this are these published and what was the main, one of the main findings was that the EEG that, nor, that is significantly changed in the patients with hepatic encephalopathy was normalized in uh, um, several of the patients uh, and uh, especially the um, change in the relative power of the theta frequencies were, were uh, significantly normalized and uh, also the ratio between the um, DT and AB frequencies were also significantly uh, improved. So it, it shows, and this is of course a, a quite hard measure in that way, that it is not a, a, a subjective measurement, this is an objective measurement in that way, that uh, this can be counted um, in the EEG. Uh, <clears throat> we have also done a number of uh, uh, um, tests for especially the, the uh, improvement of cognition. We have done the continuous reaction time, CRT. We have done the pro, uh, proto-systemic hepatic encephalopathy score, BHES. And we have done the animal naming test, which is a, a common test for, for uh, 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 cognition in this kind of studies. And as you can see, we had a clear cut uh, improvement of, uh, of the uh, uh, test results in the pooled groups of the treat, tr pool treatment group of the 3027, the galaxal. And we also looked at the um, uh, Eppenwolf sleepiness scale. Sleepiness is one of the major problems with the, in the hepatic encephalopathy. And also in this uh, test, we had a improvement in uh, day 21 in these uh, individuals uh, having the the treatment with GR3027 or colexanolone. Okay, so this is uh, the presentation of some of our results which we were having using the antagonists to the uh, GABA receptor modulating steroids, the positive GABA receptor modulating steroids. Thank you. <laughs>